We don't know a lot about Jesus in his youth. We know that as a child, he was taken to Egypt because Herod wanted to kill him. We know he probably spent eight to 10 years down in Egypt, probably in the city of Alexandria. We know that when he was 12 years old, 12 years old is very significant in a young Jewish boy. That's when you became a man. That's when you have your bar mitzvah. That's when very special things begin to happen in your life as a young Jewish boy. And we see what happened when Jesus was 12. Now read with me in Luke chapter 2, beginning with verse 45. When his parents couldn't find him, they went back to Jerusalem to search for him there. Three days later, they finally discovered him in the temple, sitting among the religious leaders, listening to them and asking questions. All who heard him were amazed at his understanding and his answers. He not only understood, he could answer questions. His parents didn't know what to think. Son, his mother said to him, why have you done this to us? Your father and I have been frantic searching for you everywhere. Why did you have to search, he asked. Didn't you know that I must be in my father's house? He said, you know, I'm a man now. There are responsibilities that I have. But they didn't understand what he meant, even though he's now 12, he's legally a man. Then he returned to Jerusalem with them and was obedient to them. And his mother stored all these things in her heart. Jesus grew in wisdom and in stature and in favor with God and all the people. Now I want you to notice that if there was ever a young boy who you would think did not have to obey his parents, it would be Jesus. Forgive me, he's the son of God, okay? Forgive me, there is no sin within him. He never sinned. But when you look at this and you realize that there was ever someone who didn't need to obey the parents, it was Jesus, but he did. I want you to notice with me that even though they didn't understand his destiny, they didn't understand he still was in submission and obedience to them. Now, I say this because young people, sometimes God's hand is upon your life. And you begin to realize the greatness of the work that God has laid out before you. But that doesn't overrule the need to be a submissive, obedient son or daughter to your parents. Now, Jesus understood he needed to grow and progress in life. Jesus understood he needed to sit and learn, and even more importantly, ask questions, verse 46. Jesus understood that he needed to make progress in life, verse 52. Jesus understood that he needed to continue in obedience to his parents, and that he did. Young people, one day you're going to be a parent, and you're going to realize, as parents, we love our children with all of our hearts, but we're not always right. And sometimes a young person just needs to continue in obedience to their parents. If you're living at home, if you're not yet of age, if you're still in your parents' home, you're still eating the food they put on the table, wearing the clothes they put on your back, you need to continue in obedience to your parents.